Well, hello, W Magazine. I'm Heather Dubrow. Come on in. I'm going to show you my prized possessions, and I'll pour you a glass of champs. Hey, all my friends at W Magazine. We are talking collections, and I am going to show you some of my prized possessions. And it all begins with scarves. Now, I'm from the East Coast, and any girl from the East Coast knows the way we were raised, you always have a scarf with you. This one is very, very special to me. My beloved grandmother uh, left this to me when she passed away, and it makes me think about her. She was such a strong, independent, feisty, brilliant, talented, amazing woman. What started out as a souvenir from the Champagne region in France at a little winery you may have heard of called Veuve Clicquot, turned into my obsession with scarves and champs. So, let's dive in to my scarf collection. Hermes makes the best scarves. They are the gold standard. Um, beautiful patterns, colors, styles. This is the famous Zodiac scarf. This actually was also given to me by my grandmother. Keep it forever. You always, always, always have to have a scarf. But let me tell you a funny story. So I'm not that edgy. You may know this already, but I'm not that edgy. And one time I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tie it around my head. I'm gonna do that whole like cool head scarf wrap thing. Um, and we were actually filming Real Housewives of Orange County. We were glamping and I thought I was so edgy and cool and I came out of my cabin and another castmate was wearing the scarf the same exact way and we looked like morons. But the camera's already caught us so I couldn't take it off. Here was the result. Scarves and bikinis, it's an awesome thing. So you take your bikini and make the bottoms look smaller. No granny panties. If you're traveling to a warm weather destination, you could take it on the plane, keep yourself warm and cozy. What I love, love, love to do with these, especially this fabric, this is modal. So it's somewhere between like a cottony feel and a silk feel, but it's more breathable fabric. And I use it as a cover up. These are Alexander McQueen. I love their modal scarves and they're so cute. Look how cute this is. Oh, and I'm edgy, look, I am edgy. See their skulls. What's become popular these days are clear bags, see-through bags, PVC, baskets like this, but like no one wants to see your stuff in there. We don't need to see your receipts and your nonsense. So you know what? You put your scarf inside the bag and now you have a little privacy. You can be edgy, you can be cute, you can make a bow. Adorable. This is a trick. Don't steal it. Okay, you can steal it. Just you. It's so cute. The best things in life are free. The second best things are very expensive. Coco Chanel. When I was young, I coveted Chanel. I loved the ads. I loved walking by the store and I always wanted a piece of it. So when I got my very first job at 16, I got hired to be in a series of film strips. Yep, that's how old I am. And they gave me the check and um, I took it to Chanel and I bought this iconic belt with this little bag hanging off of it. And I mean, obviously, I still have it. 16 was a long time ago, friends. W Magazine friends, don't start doing math. Here's the thing. If you invest in good pieces, they last forever. Take care of your things, and they will take care of you. So, they do not make it anymore. However, there's an updated version in all black. I love it. Is that so cute? And now they're friends. They play together. Harmony in the closet. Okay, little known fact about me, I love mini bags. You may think they're ridiculous, I love them. This one in particular was just featured on an episode of Real Housewives of Orange County. It's actually called a festival bag. I actually don't go to festivals, but I just, I thought it was so cute. What does it hold? Nothing, it holds absolutely nothing. But there was one girl who was a little nervous getting on a private plane for the first time, and so my little friend, the edible, made an appearance, because I'm fancy. 
How fun. So I have this little collection of little purses. Look at them. Well, here is an assortment of my favorite little mini bags. Some of them, you know, you could wear as necklaces. You can actually layer them together. Some of them have dual purposes. Here's a little bag that you hang off, a bigger purse, and then inside, another bag! Look how cute that is! Anyway, oh, these are so cute. So, if you ever want a stylish place to put your AirPods, look at that! Sadly, I am allergic to AirPods now. They change a little plastic piece inside. I'm very delicate. Do you want them? What else fits in there? Nothing. Then, oh, this is so cute. So I ordered this bag and I thought it was a large size bag. And then it came in and it was like, honey, I shrunk the bag. But then he was so cute, I just had to keep him. And then lots of cute little things to hang off other bags. For five minutes, I thought I was gonna be like a momager and um, I thought I'd put like my, my ID and my press pass and I'd be walking around, didn't happen. What can I tell you? There's no talent in the family. And now for my final prize possession, of course, it's the wall of champs. This actually started off being a wine wall, but you know I love my champs, and I thought, wouldn't it be cool to make it more of an art installation? So I decided one brand, a little pop of color, and then I added the lights with the crystals for a little sparkle, because who doesn't love a little sparkle? It's like, you know, jewelry for your champs. From my scarf to my wall. Thank you guys so much for being here. W Magazine, I had a blast with you. Cheers.